the High House Farm Brewery. We're here for a bit of a brewery tour um, just to see how um, some of the local beers are produced. Um, in the next few minutes you'll see uh, some of the local beers and um, we'll hopefully get a taste of a few as well. So uh, it should be good fun. Hi House Farm Brewery. My name is Tommy Irwin and I am the general manager of the brewery. This visitor centre has now been taken over by another family and um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the history of the brewery and the building and the actual process, okay? So, our family took it over in 1960 and we've been brewing and farming here ever since. We've got 200 acres out there and we're around about 110 sheep, 10 cows with one bull, um, three of my horses and the rest is all down to arable. Now everything was fine, we, went, we were farming away till 2001 when Fulton Mouth hit. It, uh, we weren't actually killed out, but um, I remember the year, and if you looked around you could see tyres burning on all the horizon, it was really nasty. And Steve and my husband realised that to support two families on the farm, what we would have to do is actually diversify. He looked at um, butchering his own meat, but he decided that lots of other people did that. He looked at um, opening a coffee shop that was a very good one just down the road. So what he thought he'd do is, he'd done a bit of home brewing, he went to university and did a, a brewer's degree, and in 2003 he opened that side. That cost around about £500,000, and we got a 50 cent grant in death row. Now all was well good. In 2003 we had half a member of the staff, which was myself. We were brewing away. But the competition in this area is huge. There are 12 other microbrewers um, just in this area alone. So we realised that we'd have to diversify further. So in 2006, we opened the visitor centre, which was through there. It was dovecuts or pigeon lofts. We cleared it all out, and with another £600,000, that was born in 2006. Since then, um, we've had no signs of the credit crunch, thank God. And now the fact that we're just concentrating on the brewery means that um, we can push this to the next level. We're involved in the whole kind of the on whole the whole thing, farm. The whole business. Well, we have um, my husband works at a full time job in Business Link, and he works full time there. Then I do two days a week here. I've got two full time brewers and a full time sales manager. Well, she actually she does three days a week, so part time. And then in the visitor centre, they've got around about another 14 people that do all of the waitressing and the cooking and things like that. So we try and keep numbers down as soon as much as we can mm. because the wages is one of the biggest, the biggest problems mm. we're paying. Yeah. Um, and so we found that. So I'm having to send out price rise letters to everybody, and I'm getting a bit of grumbling now, which mm. I suppose is fair enough. Also, some of our very small, isolated rural pubs have gone out of business. But what we're finding is they're going out of business, but they're soon being picked up by either a bigger pub company or another. Um, wealthier person, and hmm. they're, they're, they're still going forward, so it's not too bad at the So moment. you're still doing all right customer-wise? Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right customer-wise. Um, the trouble is, because of the duty rises, the prices are going up and up, and the fuel costs as well, so we're probably going to reach a limit that people just won't, will not pay any more for mm. the cask, because that might be a slight problem in the future. Yeah. And that isn't, that isn't your fault, is it? At all? No. That's, that's a... no, I mean, I've had to put a pound on the price of a cask, so for instance, we've got a nettle beer, which is one of our most popular products, which is going out next week. It was £64, now it's £65. I'm having to ring everybody and I'm getting people asking for discounts, which we just don't do. Mm. So it's really quite a difficult thing to deal with at the moment. Mm. So we're driving back now from uh, High House uh, Farm Brewery. Um, we've had a really good time actually this afternoon, haven't we? Yep. It's been really good fun. Uh, the uh, Sally, who runs the place, along with her husband Steve, is a, is a really nice girl. Um, she's really, really, really enthusiastic about the uh, the whole uh, brewing ale brewery experience. Really friendly and um, courteous, and really informative as well. Uh, along with that, the the, the diversification section that they've that they've got going on is brilliant because it's still a working farm and it's still um, the the cafe that we sat in was really buzzing, wasn't it? Yeah, very busy and um, kind of taste, tasting your beers and everyone looked like they're enjoying the lunch, which is good as well. Want to go down there?